So good evening ladies and gentlemen and I must tell you beforehand this is probably one of the most not say angriest sports hall columns I will I will ever do in my life. Um, it's the most honest. Now I don't know if anybody in your family is a veteran if you're talking to Canadians or Americans. How would you feel if your American or Canadian flag was defiled on a regular basis by an entertainer who was paid big money to uh, pretend he hated something. Now, in the 1997 WWE season, or that year, we had a growing feud between Bret Hart, the world uh, wrestling entertainment champions uh, faction, and uh, Degeneration X, led by uh, Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Now, in the months before the Dinamal, which we now call the Montreal Screwjob in November of that year in Montreal Survivor Series, we were seeing more and more incidents involving Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart taunting each other, uh, the different factions uh, wrestling against each other. But something really weird started to happen. Bret Hart was being booed in the States and being cheered in Canada. And for some reason, Vince McMahon uh, decided to let Shawn Michaels go and not say kayfabe, but use any means at disposable to uh, bring heat to the situation. Uh, and as the weeks went on, we saw something very disgraceful. Shawn Michaels was starting to abuse the Canadian flag. At house shows, allegedly, he'd wipe his arse, or pretend to wipe his arse, with the Canadian flag. He put the Canadian flag in his nose and pretend that he was couldn't get off, and, you know, he'd blow the, uh, his nose with the Canadian flag, stuff like that. All well and good, I mean, it was just basically for a show. But on the Niner Survivor Series, when he entered the ring, he took a Canadian flag with him, and instead of basically throwing it out the audience saying, you know, I'm better than Canada, he basically uh, did the old uh, bum wash and threw the flag in the middle of the ring and pretended to hump or rape our Canadian flag. Now, wrestling, as you know, has uh, some weird things, but for an idiot at the time like Vince McMahon to allow one of his wrestlers to rape a national flag on an international pay-per-view, especially where 20% of his employees were either Canadian or dual citizen, including Pat Patterson, including most of the Hart Foundation, including a lot of the, the backstage wrestlers, Edge, Christian, whatever. Someone had a complete, massive, and disgusting brain fart. Imagine if I was a wrestler... I don't know, let's say it was Chris Jericho. I decided to go to the States and pretend I was going to rape or wipe my arse with the American flag. Would I be arrested? Probably. Would I be have death threats? Of course. Now, the screw job, if we all know what happened, Brett was supposed to leave for WCW. He didn't want to lose the title in Canada. It was supposed to be DQ, and he screwed Brett out of the title, shot him in the match. Because it was a combination of factors, he told Earl Hebner to ring the bell in this false sharpshooter that you know he was put in. Michaels left the ring in a huff. Uh, Brett saw what happened, spit in Vince McMahon's face, smashed the uh, the ring equipment afterwards. Did the WCW in the ring, saying he was going to WCW, and backstage allegedly hit Vince McMahon in his face. All that combined is nothing compared to the Canadian flag being defiled, especially in the way it was in Montreal that evening. Any veteran that has fought on behalf of Canada, even before we had the flag in 65, the flag, the ensign meant something to us, the Canadian flag, we fought side by side with Americans at different countries of the world. We celebrated their flags. Any Canadian would not even attempt to do something similar to that. And as the years go on, we're going to look back and say, what was one of the worst moments in, in WWE history? From a Canadian's perspective, it was Shawn Michaels. Now, I've never met Shawn Michaels. I guess him and Brett have buried a hatchet. All well and good. I can forgive, but I can't forget. Forgetting something like that is impossible because it's impossible to forget. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a chance to uh, look back on the history of Survivor Series, you know, it's rarely uh, talked about in the American media, but here in the Canadian media, we do remember. 
And you know what's funny? I still think uh, having a match in Montreal, what Sean did that, there was a bunch of group of separatists and Quebecers that really didn't consider himself part of Canada and he weren't that offended. But I know a lot of people, uh, colleagues that have friends who were there that night, they were disgusted. You shouldn't be disgusted. You never take a flag in vain. People have lived and died for flags across the world. Kayfabe is one thing, getting heat is one thing, but Shawn Michaels, if brains were trains, you missed uh, yours. And if I ever meet you, I say, listen, Shawn, I don't call you Shawn, I call you scumbag. You know what a scumbag is? It's Shawn Michaels in a ring defiling a Canadian flag, if you want to talk. See, if you looked at the dictionary and looked up scumbag, I want to see a photo of him humping the Canadian flag, description of the world scumbag, said, see Survivor Series. I'm not joking. You're a disgrace, Shawn Michaels. You may have changed, but <laughs> I can forg forgive, but I can't forget. So on this uh, cold January night, as we're awaiting actually a new wrestling federation being formed in competition with WWE, I can tell you, if I could go back in time and be a journalist that night, I would have walked into the ring and taken the Canadian flag away from Shawn Michael, just like Rick Monday took that American flag away from the protesters who were trying to burn it. I should have done it Rick Monday. I only regret that I was in Campbellton at the time. I couldn't make it. I was working for the Campbellton Tribune. Again, Shawn Michaels scumbag. Bret Hart, you have my respect. I've met you before. You're a dynamite guy. And you're a dual citizen. You're American and Canadian. You would never do that with the American flag, and you never have. You said that before. Again, you can forgive Shawn Michaels, but I can't forget Shawn Michaels what he did. Anyway, that's my spiel. Love it or hate it, leave me a comment, like, subscribe. And any Shawn Michaels fans out there, you look at the tape and you tell me if that's acceptable what he did. Of course it's not. Anyway, have a good evening. Keep your stick in the ice. Bye.